Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeffrey back with another video. Hey, I've been getting requests the last few months to do some old school fried chicken gizzards. So that's what I'm going to do today, y'all. We're going to do some old school fried chicken gizzards. Very easy, very simple. I'm not a big fried chicken gizzards fan and livers fan, but I will eat them. It's not like I go out of the way to order or cook on a daily basis, but I will eat them. I grew up eating them. So I'm going to show you the process of how my mama used to make them. Okay, very simple recipe, y'all. Very easy recipe. I do the wet, dry, wet, and I mean the dry, wet, dry method. When I fry my chicken gizzards, some people, you know, chicken gizzards are or a tough piece of part of the chicken. But what I do, my mama used to do, she used to marinate it for 24 hours in the refrigerator in buttermilk and a little vinegar. And the acid in the buttermilk and vinegar tenderizes the gizzards. Some people might boil them for a couple of hours just to make them tender. But you got to tenderize them before you fry them. Not they're going to be too tough to eat. So what do they see us here? I got them uh, marinated, just some buttermilk, about a cup of buttermilk and a teaspoon of white vinegar. For 24 hours, I'm gonna drain this off. Then I'm gonna put them back in this bowl here and then we're gonna season them. Get all this buttermilk off of here. Put them back in the bowl here. Okay, now all I'm gonna do now, and I'm gonna season them with my shake here. Look, having the seasoning, you can use salt and pepper, whatever seasoning you would like to use. Seasoning really, really good there. Old school shake there. I don't want to cooperate on it with me here. There we go. Shake that seasoning really good. Mix this up here. I got my cast iron skillet getting hot over here on the side. Do the seasoning off the way here. Okay, like I said, I'm gonna do the dry, dry, wet, dry in the fryer method. Meaning I'm gonna use flour. I got egg and buttermilk mixture. You can use egg and milk. How do you want to do it? Well, I do egg, a couple of eggs, maybe a cup of buttermilk. Okay, turn the fire back up here. The grease is hot. We have a little bit of time. Put that in here, flour. To the egg, I like to like I say, give me a good double crust on here. And I'm not doing the shaking, you know how I do the shaking uh, fry method. I'm gonna bread these by hand where I make sure they get a good breading on them. Put my hand here, back into the flour. Coat it and into the grease. I'm going to fry them till they're golden brown, y'all, on both sides. Like I say, I grew up eating these, but this is not my favorite part of the chicken to eat. Now, once I start eating them, I believe me, I love them. In a second here, I'm going to move it over here so y'all can see them frying here in the, in the skillet. Let me 
move this over here. So y'all can see them frying there in the skillet. While that's doing that, I'm gonna get the other ones all good and go, ready to go here. Definitely don't take long to, to fry up, y'all. Take long at all. This is going a long way as you can probably tell, y'all. A few gizzards goes a long way. See that? Turn them over there. Let me see. That's, the, that's why it's important, y'all, to, uh, to make sure that you, uh, Either blanch them, uh, cook them ahead, uh, cook them a little before, or marinate them. I'm a little skillet here. Put them on when they, my little pan here, put them on when they come out the skillet there. Old school chicken gizzards. Gizzards, gibbly, same thing, y'all. So if you're looking for them in the store, they're over there where the chicken parts are. Let them cook up there. Very simple. Nothing to it, y'all. I'm going to get my other ones braided up here while those are cooking here. And this is all-purpose flour, y'all. in the flour. And that's it on that. Let's see it up here. Ready to go in the flat in the grease in just a second. So I'm gonna step off here. You take these out here. I'm gonna flip them over. They're not getting too dark here. Flip them over one more time. Nice and crispy, see how nice and, and crispy those are. So I'm gonna step off, I'm gonna get these out, get them drained, get the other ones on, and we'll be ready back when they're ready to eat. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back here. And look at this here, y'all. This is fresh out the fresh out the grease. Let me get one here, cut it in half here. Show y'all how they are. Taste me one of these. I say, these here just fresh out the grease. Mm. These are crispy here. This is a more crispy look. Listen, how crispy these are. Like I say, the only thing I don't like about these 
is a, uh, it tastes like you're eating a tender ribeye instead of chicken. And that's a, just a texture. I'll eat them, but I'm not crazy about them. Like these are nice and tender. Mm. And the crust is awesome. Nice crispy crust. Mmm. Mmm, like eating popcorn. Mmm. But the key, y'all, make sure you, you let them marinate in buttermilk and lemon juice or vinegar. I like to do a day for a whole day. Or you can put them in water and boil them for about an hour. Or if you just take them out the patty and bake them and fry them, they're just going to be too tough to eat. They really are. But I love them. Like this. I can say that's my favorite thing to eat. But once I start eating them, mm, hot. I can't stop eating them. But, hold on now. Mm, mm, mm. Well, you need some hot sauce. Well, you need a meal. But it's another cheap eat, though. All these cost me a dollar seventy-five cents in the store. But nobody buys gibbets from gibbets. I don't know what to do with them. All right, y'all. Let me close this video out. Like I closed my other videos out, please follow my other social media accounts, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, Pinterest, and OldSchoolSoulFood.com. And uh, hashtag this year, 2021, help somebody old school soul food. Man, these things are good. That's what I'm frozen for, y'all. I'm realizing I haven't had fried gizzards in a long time. And I forgot, like I say, I don't eat them, but when I do start eating them, the things are good. So what I need me some hot sauce. Sit down here with me some hot sauce, y'all. And some ketchup. And it's going to be on. But anyway, until next time, have a blessed old school soul food day. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Love y'all. Bye.